What's up guys, it's Matt. Today we're talking about A Star Is Born. A Star Is Born, directed by Bradley Cooper, is a remake of the 1976 A Star Is Born, starring Barbara Streisand, which in itself is a remake of the 1937 A Star Is Born, starring Janet Gaynor. Yeah. So this is this is the, the third one. Starring Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga, the story is pretty much a more modern retelling of the same story which has been told before in the two previous versions of the film. There are a few uh, different twists and turns within there, but essentially the core story is still the same. Bradley Cooper plays a alcoholic musician whose career is kind of starting to plummet towards its end when he discovers Lady Gaga in a bar who is absolutely incredible and he basically helps her become a star um, as his star is, is dying out. The film obviously relies very heavily on the relationship that is built between Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga and I'm happy to say that both of them do an absolutely incredible job in this movie. Lady Gaga is brilliant. I had no idea that she could act. We all know she can sing, but I had no idea at all that she could actually act and Lady Gaga can act. She is absolutely phenomenal in this movie. Bradley Cooper as well, this has to be one of the better roles I think I've ever seen him in. For once, I wasn't like, oh, it's Bradley Cooper. Like, I was convinced that he was his character and I was, uh, you know, fully on board for the ride and I generally did feel for him throughout the movie. Sam Elliott is also in the movie. Uh, he plays the role of Bradley Cooper's brother. He doesn't get as much time as I would have liked him to have had, but when he is on screen, he is absolutely brilliant. All in all, the film does flow quite nicely. Towards the end, I did feel like it was starting to drag on a little bit. There were maybe a couple of scenes which could have been dropped. At times, some of the musical numbers just kind of felt like you were watching a music video. I mean, the songs were all great, they were all performed live, the performances were very, very powerful, but occasionally some of those moments went on a bit too long, or there wasn't enough sort of space between like one musical number leading into the next musical number. Maybe I felt the film was dragging on towards the end because I personally don't think I got as invested in the movie as it wanted me to. When the lights came on at the end, there were quite a few sniffles throughout the theatre. You could tell quite a few people in the audience had been crying. For me, the film never quite got me there. Um, I, I was close. I felt for these characters, but it never just kind of tipped me over the edge. I, I, I never managed to get completely that invested in them. But as I said, for most people who I was with in the theatre, um, there were tears throughout. As far as romantic dramas go, this has to be one of the better ones. Despite me feeling like it kind of dragged on a little bit towards the end, it was uh, overall a, a very, very enjoyable film to watch. As I said, Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga both delivered absolutely incredible performances and they did gel together sort of as a couple throughout the movie. The musical performances were again absolutely astounding. Like I knew Lady Gaga could sing, I had no idea Bradley Cooper could sing, but he absolutely smashes it out of the park as well. I will give it a 8 out of 10. As I said, I just felt it went on a bit too long and a couple of the musical numbers, there were just too many in quick succession, started to feel like I was just watching a glorified music video. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. Uh, if you've enjoyed the review, do give the video a like. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing more reviews in the future. And have you seen the film? Let me know down in the comments. Let's get a discussion going. Until next time.